Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and do a camera comparison between the Galaxy S7 and the LG G5. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so let me go ahead and start with some of the photos I took at the beach. Uh, this one on the left is the LG G5 versus the S7 Edge. Um, they're both on auto HDR. Um, the G5 turned on auto HDR in this shot here. And you can see the shadows a lot better. Uh, S7 Edge, um, not so much, but both photos do not look too bad. But let me go on to the next photo. I did an extreme example of sort of a, a macro. Um, the focus points are slightly different. Uh, both photos look pretty well. Uh, the G5 did go into HDR mode here, as you can see. Um, looks pretty good. The S7 Edge doesn't look bad either. Uh, it's actually got a lot more bokeh. Uh, that's probably because I, my focus point was over here uh, versus a little bit uh, further back. So both photos do pretty well here. And in this next shot, um, I did a macro of this fish here. You can see that the S7 Edge does a ton better job of picking up the details in the shadows down here. And also if I zoom in, they both look pretty good, but you can see the S7 Edge picks up a lot more details in the shadows again. All right, in this next photo I took of the beach, uh, the S7 Edge seems to have a lot more clarity, uh, a lot more details, a lot more sharper. Now this is just really difference between how the cameras process uh, the actual image. Uh, the G5 looks a lot more softer, um, the S7 Edge picks up more details but it's a lot more sharper. But I actually prefer the G5 look a little bit more because this one looks unnaturally too sharp whereas the G5 uh, a little bit softer. But this is definitely a personal preference. And also if you really wanna get the best results, you can always take raw photo with both phones and tweak it yourself. All right, and this is the same photo I took uh, with the LG G5. Here's the normal and here's the wide angle from the same location. You can see the advantages having a wide angle. You can be in the same location and take two photos, one with the super wide, and this is probably the look I prefer on this one actually, because you get that nice wide view angle. I took some shots of the waves here, and you can see again the LG G5 a lot softer, uh, a lot more detail, it's a lot sharper with the S7 Edge. And here is the same photo that I took from the same location. You can see how much wider it is, and you simply can't get this photo with the pier over here from this location, even if you move farther back. Um, you can only do this with the G5. Look at this normal versus wide, super wide angle. So this is one of the biggest advantages of having a G5. All right, here's another shot of the pier. Um, you can see the S7 Edge does a great job of picking up details in the sky, even though the sun's right there. Also details on the beach. The G5 does also a great job, um, not bad at all. Uh, the S7 does a little bit better in picking up the details in the shadows. All right, also the same photo I took with LG G5, one of the biggest advantages, I can take this photo or I can take this photo. And I really prefer this wide angle look versus this photo here, um, just because you get that nice wide angle. All right, in this next test, I did focus on the foreground here. You can see both did pretty well. The G5 sort of lost the sun, uh, the sky is there. The S7 has sort of picked up more of the sun. And this can be sort of an advantage in situations like this, where the S7 Edge has a four by three versus 16 by nine. So the S7 Edge does better in this situation. Since it picks up more of the photo, I think it processed the brights and shadows better. All right, in this next photo, I took a photo of this anchor here. Both photos look actually pretty good, but look carefully. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in. You can see uh, the S7 Edge just picks up the whole thing, focuses on the whole photo, whereas the G5 actually sort of blurs out the background a little bit, focuses more on the subject there. Uh, also actually picks up more details in the anchor, uh, a lot warmer colors, that was the more natural. Uh, whereas the S7 Edge is a lot cooler. So depending on the situation, I feel like the G5 can outperform the S7 Edge, uh, vice versa. All right, in this next photo, um, it is very interesting where the megapixels really come into play. Now these two photos look pretty similar, but if I zoom in to this thing here, you'll see a clear difference 
Uh, the G5 really does a lot better in picking up all the details. This is where the extra megapixels come in and really helps out the G5. And this is where it really hurts the S7 Edge. Of course, you're probably not gonna crop out this much, but I feel like the extra megapixels does help. The fact that Samsung went with 12 megapixels, I feel like it does, does hurt them in certain situations uh, where you want the details. All right, but in this next photo, um, it actually doesn't make a huge difference. All right, in this situation, I feel like uh, they're nearly equal in terms of performance. Well, the G5 still picks up a lot more detail. You can see in certain situations, the G5 can be a lot better, especially where you can make use of more pixels. All right, here's another photo uh, I wanna point out. Um, you can see the S7 Edge sort of just focuses on everything here, whereas the G5 sort of uh, focuses on the stairs here, uh, but softens out the background. So in certain situations in auto mode, I feel like the G5, I prefer this softer background uh, with focusing a subject versus just focus on everything at seven edge. It really depends on the situation. To really get most out of these cameras, you really gotta be shooting in RAW. Of course, most of you probably don't even know what that is. Um, in this photo, you can see a lot sharper with the S7 Edge. Uh, the G5, not so much. And if we go ahead and zoom in here, and you can see S7 Edge actually picks up all of these little nitty gritty details while the G5 simply loses them. This is probably done by the software. So if you took these photos raw, you can really um, get the most out of it. But this is how the auto mode processes uh, the photos here zoomed out i mean the s7 edge i would say it's a lot more clear but i do prefer the softer look on the g5 so i guess this really boils down to personal preference and a lot warmer colors which i think was more true when i took this photo all right next let's go ahead and take a look at low light photos and take a look at lg g5 you can see there's a lot of noise here versus not much noise s7 edge so this is where the 12 megapixel um really shines it picks up more light so when i go ahead and zoom in on my uh, knob here you can see a lot more clear virtually no noise versus a lot of noise a lot of reddish uh, grains here with the LG G5. All right, here's another low light situation. You can see the S7 Edge picks up a lot more details in the shadows, uh, less details, a lot more noise. Now, if I go ahead and zoom in, you can see a lot of this yellow reddish grain with the LG G5, uh, not so much with the S7 Edge. Here's a photo of my daughter. Um, both look pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, this was like super low light after sunset, but if I go ahead and zoom in here, um, you can see the S7 Edge does a lot better, all right? I mean, it's not a huge difference, but you can clearly tell um, there's a slight advantage to having uh, the 12 megapixel camera on the S7 Edge. All right, in this example, it did not really make a difference. Um, I just felt like both photos were pretty crappy in this super low, I mean, it's pretty much darkness. I don't see advantages of having either. All right, in this example, I took photo of this flower and you can see how much clearer, sharper the S7 Edge is versus the LG G5. Um, you can see a lot more clear a lot more noise with the G5. Here's another extreme example of a neon sign at the Faux restaurant. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in on this P here. This is the S7 Edge and versus uh, the G5. Here you can clearly tell the S7 Edge does a ton better um, capturing that light versus uh, added noise with the G5. All right, here's another situation uh, of a light bulb in complete darkness. You can see actually both did pretty well. In this situation, the G5 did a little bit better of picking up the shadows. It got me really wondering at this point that you know both cameras can do equally well in certain situations. The S7 Edge did seem to do a lot better in low light, but in most situations, I felt like you know both phone did pretty well uh, with an edge given to the S7 Edge for photos. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the front camera. LG G5 here versus the Galaxy S7 edge 
The S7 Edge in bright light seems to pick up a lot more details. You can see the details in my sunglasses uh, versus LG G5 seems to got rid of my wrinkles, but you don't get as many details. I actually prefer the LG G5 look um, since it gets rid of my wrinkles, but the S7 Edge does seem to do a lot better in picking up more details. All right, in this example where I have the sun behind me, the G5 actually went into an auto ACR mode and made my photo uh, ACR. And I really like the look on the LG G5. You can see how crisp, clear uh, my face is there versus um, sort of dark with a lot of noise on the S7 Edge. So in this particular scene, uh, where you have a lot of brights in the background, and you want to get that cool HDR selfie, the G5 certainly does a good job. Here's another selfie I took with the sun on the right side of me. The G5 likes to flip uh, horizontally for some reason. That's what it does by default. But you can see both photos actually do pretty well. You can see actually S7 Edge did a little bit better in picking up uh, some of the details in the background uh, versus G5. I mean, but both did pretty well. I would say both are pretty good in this situation. Here is super low light situation. In low light, I would say they're about even the S7 Edge not picking up a ton more detail than the G5. For front camera, I would say both are really, really good. What I'm really impressed is is the HDR image uh, of the G5. One of the biggest problems with front camera is that you cannot get very good shots where it's very dark. And the HDR mode is definitely gonna help out, take some excellent photos. So for selfies, I would definitely go with the G5. All right guys, I was gonna include some video tests also, but my video got kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and make another video for that. So my thoughts on the still camera, the S7 Edge, or the LG G5. For the back camera, I felt like the S7 Edge did have an edge in low light situations, but in most situations, both cameras did pretty well. I would say you can't go wrong with either of them. Now, if you absolutely need slightly better low light performance, go with the S7 Edge. But what I really like about the LG G5 is the front selfie HDR mode. I think it's a great way to capture some absolutely awesome selfie photos. And also I really like the fact that it has a second camera for wide angle shots. I mean, strictly talking about still photos, not videos, I would actually have to say the LG G5 is a lot better um, just because of the wide angle ACR selfie. And also considering the fact that 16 megapixels like in certain situations, you get so much more detail with the LG G5 like I have showed you here. So if you absolutely need the phone with better still photo skills, the LG G5 is definitely the winner in my books. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay. <laughs> on Android. Click here to subscribe. All right, perfect.